Hello! I'm going to bring you a quick, simple recipe this morning. My kids are home. It's Saturday, so you might hear some noises in the background. That's what's going on. But I want to show you how quick and easy one of Epicure's new products is. Their rotisserie chicken seasoning. This is amazing. I absolutely love it. Saves me so much time in the kitchen and is a very affordable option. If you buy rotisserie chicken in the grocery store, you're gonna spend 10 to $12, at least here in Nova Scotia, that's what it cost us. And so um, those are the pre-cooked ones, but you can throw this together in 20 minutes or less and have that same flavor at home, much less expensive and easy and I mean, really, it's gonna take you that long to go to the store and get back. So um, this has become one of my favorites. I'm gonna show you three ways to make this. So um, it's the same basic uh, prep. It's just cooking it three different ways. And I'll tell you a little bit about the timing involved with each of those and the um, end product, what you can expect for that. Um, and then I'll share with you a couple uses as we go through this. I'll talk to you a li little bit about how I use this. Um, now, one of the cheats I am doing is I am not using a whole chicken because whole chickens tend to be more expensive for me. I tend to find chicken quarters on sale a lot more often, and so that saves me some money. It works just fine for that too. Use whatever chicken you have on hand this is gonna work for it. Um, so that's what we're doing today. I actually was able, somebody actually gave me this chicken. So it's costing me only the seasoning packet. So this is a really cheap meal for me, but um, they managed to find chicken quarters that were already on sale. So for four chicken quarters, it was marked at 371. And then because they found this deal right before a uh, holiday, it was half price of that price. So um, this chicken only cost $1.81 for four chicken leg quarters. Watch for deals like that. The person who bought this for me gave it to me. I stuck it right in my deep freeze and I waited until I was ready to use it to pull it out. Um, now I will say, I forgot to pull this out last night like I meant to and so I did throw it in my microwave to defrost it a little more quickly and one of the pieces my microwave is very small and it won't spin correctly. And so one of the pieces started to kind of cook a bit. You're gonna see that when I angle the camera down. There's nothing wrong with the chicken. It's just from my defrosting process. Um, but yeah, that's the way to do it. Watch for those deals, buy it when it's on sale if you can, throw it in a freezer, and then when you're ready to make it, pull it out and you've got a much more um, cost efficient way of using these meal solutions. But again, they're, they're not expensive, especially this one. You don't need to add any other ingredients, just the chicken and this seasoning packet. So it's one of my favorites. I'm gonna angle the camera down and show you how we're gonna do this and how quick and easy it is. All right, let's see. There's my chicken. Oops, I angled you a little too far. There's my chicken. Quarters, I've got them laid out on our sheet pan with a silicone liner. I'm gonna use this at first just to season them, and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna cook them the three different ways, um, and uh, then we will cook some of it actually on this pan. So, like I said, I've got my rotisserie chicken seasoning packet. I'm gonna use our Prep Pro scissors. These are great scissors, nice, sturdy, good quality scissors, and I keep them in my kitchen. Everybody needs a good pair of scissors in your kitchen. I use it to open all of my packets up because it's just nice and quick and easy. Um, I also use these scissors sometimes to cut bacon or other things, so you could use them on your food, um, but I mostly use them to open packages and for things like that, but they are a great pair of scissors. That's so a Prep Pro scissors. So I open my packet up. I'm just going to sprinkle half the package over the top of my chicken. Now, um, actually, last time I did this, I did a double batch and I used the chicken or the seasoning for 
twice this amount of chicken. So I might actually just use a quarter of the seasoning um, today for this side. And um, you're just gonna sprinkle it on, rub it in a bit, and then I'll have some seasoning left for the next time I wanna make this. So I can actually get quite a bit from one package. Turn your chicken over. I'm gonna use my clean hand now to sprinkle another quarter of the mix on the other side of my chicken. And then again, we're just gonna rub it in. The C isn't this easy, I love it. Um, and, you know, I could mix up my own seasonings. And I have, in the past, mixed up my own seasonings to use on chicken. But, um, lately, I have been so busy that even just to like, pull out the spices, the different spices from my cupboard and mix them up and figure that out. It's just, um, it's just more time for me. And so having the seasoning packet already mixed, I don't have to think about anything. I just pour it on, rub it in, and I'm done. That's great. And by the way, my husband loves the flavor of this chicken. So um, it is definitely a good one to have on hand for those times where you just, sometimes you just don't even have the mental energy to put into thinking about seasonings. At least I don't sometimes. So there we go. And then I still have like half a packet left for um, another time. Actually, I'd say I still have about a quarter of a packet left. I was a little heavy on the seasonings, but um, I can certainly use that for another package of chicken. Now I said I'm gonna use this three ways. The three ways we're gonna do this is one of them is in the oven, which I forgot to preheat. Um, you do want your oven preheated to 400 degrees, so I'm gonna do that real quick. And um, we're also gonna do some of it in our air fryer, if you have one. Now, I have a very small air fryer. My husband just gave me this for Christmas, and I do love it. It's very small though, you're gonna see. I am gonna have a little bit of trouble. Actually, I'm gonna take my one that, like this. I think this one looked like it would bend a bit better. See, I kind of bent it to make it fit in there. Um, but I can fit one in. <laughs> and so, I love my air fryer. I'm, I'm on the lookout for a larger air fryer because this is something that I will be using all the time in my house now. So, put it in your air fryer pop it in and I just used the chicken setting on mine, which is cooking at 180 degrees. And um, it's gonna cook for uh, 20 minutes. And then you're gonna see, it's gonna make this nice, lovely, crispy chicken. It's just delicious. And then the other option is to make it in your steamer. And I actually have the new round steamer. I love this steamer. My, like I said, my microwave is a little smaller right now than when I have. And um, I can fit the multi-purpose steamer in my microwave, but it does not have enough room to spin around. Um, and with the round steamer, it works much better. I also do love the fact that our round steamer is a little bit more sturdy than our multi-purpose steamer. And so it's great. And you can fit a whole chicken in this steamer. And so I'm gonna pop a piece of the chicken in there. I could fit two of them in there. I'll show you that. Um, actually, I probably will. I will cook two of them in the multi-purpose steamer. And then I'm just going to pop a lid on. And actually, now that I'm done touching the chicken, I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. So I can do this a little more efficiently. I probably should use tongs to touch my chicken, but I tend to just get in there with my hands a lot. And then I just um, give my hands a good scrub and I try to wash down everything I use to the uh, oven door, the microwave and air fryer. I will 
wash all that down. So I'm gonna pop my lid on, just make sure it seals. And I'm gonna put this in the microwave for 15 minutes and it's gonna be done. So I've popped that in, set the timer for that. See already how quickly everything is going? It's amazing. All right, so now I've got the chicken in my microwave. I've got the chicken in my um, air fryer. Both of those are cooking. And now I'm gonna pop this one into the oven. And the oven is the option that takes the longest. And that's why I actually really love the other options. But if you've got the time, you pop this in the oven and you forget about it while you do other things. So this is gonna go in the 400 degree oven and this is gonna take about 50 minutes to cook. Well, maybe with one piece of chicken on the pan, it won't take that long. But if you had your pan full, it would definitely take 50 minutes. So, um, that's it. I am 11 minutes into this video. I talked to y'all at the beginning for probably three and a half minutes and I've been talking about things as I cooked normally you're not talking to somebody explaining everything you're doing you're gonna have everything cooking within five minutes it's that easy I really love that about Epicure's products it's that's part of their mission good food real fast and so it is it's good food and you can do it so quickly so while those are cooking I want to talk to you a little bit about what I'm going to do with that chicken and some of the other tools I'm going to use so I did mention Epicure does have a multi-purpose steamer it is square they also have a rectangular steamer which is smaller um, the multi-purpose steamer is great to have because it also has this tray in it this tray is great you can cook bacon on here you can um, put some protein in the bottom put your tray on top put your veggies on the tray and cook your whole meal at one time in here um, this tray you can also turn around and then it's a divided tray so let's say i want to have some carrots and green beans along with this meal but i don't want to mix them all together i'm going to put carrots on one side green beans on the other cook them i love to add um a little lemon dilly to some butter cook steam your um veggies in the microwave pull them out and then um put that lemon dilly butter mix all over them delicious veggies so you could do that in here and it's nice and easy to pull out because the tray has a built-in handle when you use it this way. So lots of options with the multi-purpose steamer. Probably if I were making this meal, an entire meal right now, I would use this. Once that chicken in the microwave is done, I'd pull it out and just let it rest for a few minutes and I would have my veggies prepped. You could be prepping your veggies while your chicken's cooking save you more time or use frozen veggies that are already chopped you can do that too and then i would pop those in the microwave while the chicken rest and then pull it all out and be ready to serve my family you can even cook potatoes in the steamer um, so it is wonderful to have on hand i love having two steamers now oh it is just wonderful um, perhaps you want to have this chicken with salad you could, what I'm gonna do when all of these are cooked, my husband's gonna come in here and he's gonna eat off all that skin because he loves it. That's pretty much what happens every time. Actually, if I'm going to use the chicken whole and I want the skin left on it, I have to warn my husband ahead of time. You can't come in and steal the skin. I want it on there, um, but he loves it. He's gonna come in and pull off all that crispy skin and eat it. And then I'm gonna shred up the chicken and I'm gonna keep it in my fridge for quick, simple meals this week. One of those things I might do is I might make a salad. And um, Epicure has a lot of great salad dressings. They have Greek, um, Asian, I'm trying to think, Caesar. A lot of great dressing um, mixes. And so if you have their salad cruette, it's amazing. And the funnel, you're just gonna measure your ingredients right into this cruette. 
As a matter of fact, there are markings for quarter cup, half cup, three quarter, one, one and a quarter, and the milliliters along with that. So you could pour your liquid ingredients right into the jar, measuring them right in here, and then add your dry seasonings, or I tend to like to add my dry seasonings first through the cruet so that it doesn't get all wet and then the spices don't mix to it. Once you've got it all in there, you're gonna pop on your lid, which my family threw out my lid for this. So I just found another lid that's basically the same size, but normally your lid's gonna be black. You're gonna pop a lid on there and you're just gonna give it a shake. Salad dressing, ready to go. Fresh salad dressing and just the right amount for the meal you're making. So that's one of the things I will use the chicken for is some salad. Um, I will use the Prep Pro Chef knife to give the chicken a quick chop. I love this knife. It's a nice, dirty knife and um, nice and sharp. Works really quickly to chop up whatever you need. I'll probably use this for my veggies as well. And then because I'm gonna have all that chicken in my refrigerator, ready to go for meals, I'm gonna use it throughout the week. This past week I did this, because this is becoming a go-to in my house, and I used the chicken to make Thai stir-fry. This was my first time trying the Thai stir-fry for my family. It was delicious. It was a hit with everybody. Um, and the recipe on the package is gonna call for you to dice up some boneless skinless chicken. Um, and cook it but if you've already got the chicken cooked you're just going to use that um and all you need for this is some coconut milk peanut butter soy sauce lime juice and then your veggies now it calls for broccoli bell peppers and celery i had some celery in my fridge that needed to be used up so that was perfect i finished those off in this i had some broccoli in my freezer so i used that i did not have any bell peppers so instead i had a can of water chestnuts in my cupboard. I just pulled that out and added it in for that little crunch factor. And um, this really, it was a hit. The other nice thing about this mix is you kind of make the stir fry and then on the side you make either rice or noodles or whatever you want to serve it with. I happen to have some rice noodles on hand. So those are what I cooked up to go on the side but I only cooked enough noodles for the one meal, the ones who were eating, and then I left my other noodles, and I put my leftovers in the fridge. The next day for lunch, I cooked up those other noodles so they were nice and fresh for my husband and I for lunch. We added this on top and had it for lunch the next day too, and it tasted just as fresh and just as good. So that's an option. You could also make the home style chicken stew with this. I did that this past week as well with some of my chicken I had in the refrigerator. Um, and that homestyle chicken stew, you, I left out the potatoes when I made it that time because I didn't have potatoes on hand and it was just as good. I just used a bag of frozen mixed veggies with it. The mix and my cooked chicken, it came together in minutes and was another simple meal. If you wanted to, you could turn it into a chicken pot pie by putting some biscuits on top or a puff pastry on top and popping it into the oven. Um, you could make some Alfredo and throw the chicken in it. The tandoori chicken curry would also work really well with your pre-cooked chicken. The Thai red curry, again, you could use that pre-cooked chicken you have in your refrigerator and the pad thai you could use. Um, you could also, just to really change things up, you could also use the enchilada. Now, the recipe on the enchilada mix, this is another one of our new products that I love. The recipe calls for black beans for the filling. This is a great vegan option for those who are vegan. But if you like meat, like my kids do, um, you could, instead of black beans, use ground beef or use a mixture of the two or you could use your pre-cooked chicken in there as well as a filling. And if you're trying to avoid tortillas, if you're trying to avoid gluten, use corn tortillas, or I made this the other day, and instead of tortillas, I used um, chicken 
sliced chicken, like the deli meat, as my tortillas. It was delicious. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. It still felt like I was eating a tortilla, especially with the sauce on it and everything. So those are just a few great options. Um, our silicone liners that you saw on the pan I used in the oven, they come in that full size to fit um, in the pan, but they also come in a smaller size. And two of these come in a package and they will fit in the pan side by side too, which is great if you're doing a meal where you want your protein and your veggies separate. You could put protein on one, veggies on the other, and cook them together. And it, because our silicone liners have a little red ridge on them, um, you don't have to worry about your, your protein juices dripping over into your veggies. Maybe you want that. If you do, use the pan with it all together. But if you want to keep it separate, you can. I really love these um, silicone liners. You can see this one's got a little layer of grease because um, somebody else did the dishes, not me. But I'll clean that up and it'll be great. Um, so anyway, those are just some great ideas. I will be um, probably... These are gonna be done in just a few minutes. Let me pop them out in just a minute and I will show you so you can get an idea of what this is gonna look like. The microwave only has three minutes left. The air fryer has, I think about three minutes left too. Let me just pop it out. Oh yeah, man, this is looking good. Can y'all see that? The air fryer is so nice and crispy and juicy on the inside. Um, I will say the juiciest of the three options is the steamer option, but you don't get quite as crispy a skin on that one. However, if you really want a crispy skin, pop it under your broiler for just a few minutes in the oven and that'll crisp up that skin. And you're still gonna have that chicken done in under 20 minutes. Um, I'll pop that one out in a moment. You do wanna check the internal temperature. You wanna cook your chicken to about 180 degrees Fahrenheit. And so I'm going to check the temperature on this air fryer chicken and let you know how it is doing. It might be done faster than I expected. Oh, it's close. Not quite. So we're going to pop it back in, let it finish cooking. Let me show you the microwave steamer option real quick. Oh, my tray came out. Okay, there's still two minutes left on this, so, but I wanna show you what it's looking like. If you can see through the steam. Okay, there you go. Look at that. You can see it's already almost cooked. Um, actually, I'm gonna check the temperature on that one too. These pieces didn't completely thaw before I threw them in. So yeah, they've still got some time to go on them, but um, I'll probably actually end up doing them a few minutes extra, but normally if your chicken is all thawed, you're gonna have that done in 15 minutes, no problem. So thank you for um, watching this and I hope you got some great ideas and some things that you might want to try from Epicure. <laughs>